hello 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 how are you doing today welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to study in the united states with an hnd degree yes especially for those who have graduated from nigeria yeah and i think other parts of the world as well they do have the polytechnic system when people graduate is an hnd so do ensure that you watch this video to the very end i'll be telling you all the things that you need to know to advance your degree either at the master's level or phd level in the United States and it is very much possible to study in the United States with your HND degree somebody asked me this question last year and I'm just getting to it but don't worry everything that you need to know will be covered today Before we go into today's content, however, I need to appeal to you guys to so please and please hit the subscribe button to support me, help this channel grow and also hit the like button. By hitting the like button, YouTube gets to recommend this video to other people on YouTube and that way more people can also get this information and be informed of what they need to do. So, so the first thing you want to do to secure admissions with your HND in the United States is to prove that you have a minimum of a bachelor's degree, which is a four year degree program so i believe that for people in nigeria that have done the uh, polytechnic system they've at least gone through you know a four-year degree program because they've done nd and this for two years some of them do it for one year hnd for two years that's like five years so they've already met this criteria of the four-year degree program so they've already completed that part but you know because the united states system is very from nigeria system and even in nigeria a lot of universities and even some workplaces is discriminates against PH, uh, uh, the HND system but you know it does it's not a limiting factor in applying here for your university admission either for masters or PhD however you just need to know how to present it rightly and like I said the first thing you want to prove is that you have you know or obtained a minimum of a four-year degree you know so uh, with that the next thing I recommend for you to do is to you know research universities in the united states that accept hnd for admission not all universities in the united states accept hnd for admission i've come across some that specifically stated it on their website that they do not accept i don't know why they did that so probably they've had some experiences in the past and they, you know they felt they needed to spell that out clearly on their website which i so much appreciate by the way so because you know it saves you time wasted you know in submitting applications and then getting uh, to the final stage to realize that oh they don't accept this because i've heard the story of somebody that was actually offered admission but was later denied because they said they do not accept his degree was based on the basis of his degree so you need to first ensure that you come up with a list of universities that you are interested in that you've seen that accept hnd degree in the united states i'll probably give you some at the end of this video like two or three but in subsequent videos i'll surely provide you with more universities in the united states that you can apply to that accept hnd degree for masters or phd so ensure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know whenever i drop this video so as i was saying once you have your list of university you also want to ensure that you have a good gpa and by a good gpa you don't necessarily need to you know be a first class student you know in the united states like uh United States operates on a 4.0 GPA system. In Nigeria, some operate on 5.0, some operate on 7.0, and some operate on you know 4.0. But in United States, the highest is 4.0. So if I'm saying a good GPA, maybe have a minimum of like 2.7 over 4.0 that is after you've converted which we'll discuss soon after you've converted your uh transcript from the nigerian system to the united states system which is the purpose of a transcript evaluation the minimum you should end up with should be like 2.7 i would recommend that you have higher you know because some schools require high gpa especially if you want to get funding some schools will require a minimum of like 3.0 3.5 over 4.0 don't forget so have a good gpa and with that the next thing we want to talk about is you evaluating your transcript you might some people might want to start with this process to evaluate their transcripts first but the reason why i would recommend not starting with this first is because after your transcript is evaluated hmm, some universities would need the evaluation body to send it directly to them 
in processing your admission so but if you don't have any application going on with any school at that point what are you going to do with the results of the evaluation are you going to keep it and then when you need to send it to the school what's going to happen again so i would recommend that you have a list of schools that you are probably pursuing admission those are the schools that you have verified that accept hnd for admission in the united states you know have a good gpa then now talking about how to evaluate your transcript because hnd system i mean the polytechnic system in nigeria for some people might you know might be different some people have their hnd in a separate school from the school that they've done their hnd so this can make the process a little bit complicated but it's not a problem however so in evaluating your transcript the first thing you want to do first is making sure that the evaluation body that you are using is the right one not all evaluation bodies understand the uh, hnd system and will give you the correct evaluation some might evaluate it as an associate degree which can get your admission denied so you want to ensure that they evaluate it as an equivalent of a bachelor's degree get that clearly you want to ensure that they evaluate it as a minimum of as an equivalent of a bachelor's degree and there are some bodies that i have heard about that do this number one i think sdr so I'm going to leave the link to their website in the description box below so it's easier for you guys to check it out. I know of West as well and I think there's GCE. So check out these evaluation bodies if you, are, if you have HND uh, degree and you want to study in the United States. So ensure that that is done, a uh, bachelor's degree not associate degree. And so once that is done and you have your evaluation, uh, then you can now continue with other requirements that you need to meet up for your admission for the schools that you're interested in but you know i explained the other time that if you have studied for hnd and nd in different schools there's a bit of complication now where the complication comes is the fact that there are different schools and for some evaluation bodies some of them might require you to send your transcript directly from the school that you have studied for your undergrad to them directly and not directly from yourself some bodies accept you sending it to them via email or even mail just sending it to them directly some accept i th i think uh, the one that i used then i sent my transcript directly to them i didn't send from the school but for wes i've not done wes before but i think for wes you would need to probably send from your school so what you would need to do is that when you're sending your transcript uh, you need to ensure that it is packaged together, you know, because when things are going in different direction, it's easier for some things to be missed. And one of the things I've observed about some of these evaluation bodies is that they might not ask you anything. They will just say, okay, you submitted, you've paid. They will just give you what, they will evaluate based on what you have submitted and then they give you the wrong thing. And to correct it, you might not have to pay another fee again to correct it. So in order to avoid that, I'd recommend that if you've done your ND and HND different schools, uh, have your end results sent to your HND university or sorry your college and then mesh together to be sent to your uh, evaluation body and don't forget part of your evaluation not just your results is what you are evaluating the, you also have to send along your certificates I know that the evaluation body that I use for people usually request it even when i've forgotten to send the certificate they send me another mail to ask me to send the certificate but some some might not at, uh, remind you or ask you to send it but you should include it because if you don't send it they might evaluate it wrongly like i said the the importance of this evaluation two things to convert your results from the nigerian equivalent to the u.s equivalent system and also number two to prove that you have a minimum of a bachelor's degree that is you have completed a four-year degree program so ensure that all of this is done to have your transcript evaluated rightly see the difference between hnd and bsc coming to study for master's degree in the united states based on all these things that i've said is majorly this transcript stage if you get it wrong in this stage <laughs> that's it so there isn't so much difference in terms of requirement there are no special re other special requirements you know if you are asking statement of purpose bsc hnd will still submit uh proof of fund both 
degrees will submit you know ilt if it's required both will still do it so those are not distinguishing requirement this distinguishing requirement is how the transcript is evaluated and ensuring that it is evaluated rightly once you can get this done rightly you don't have a problem you are so good to go you know and like i said earlier there are a lot of schools in the united states that do not accept hnd for admission so ensure that the schools that you are paying money to apply to you know you can even send emails to like graduate coordinator or the admissions office to ask like you know explain yourself so that you don't waste your time is this acceptable this is what you have so they will let you know so you don't have to waste your time your energy and your resources in submitting any application all right so let me i think i'll just mention like two schools that i have seen <laughs> that i've heard about that accept hnd degree so you can check them out uh, right now i know of michigan michigan tech and right now i think they still have admissions on for fall 2023 so if you're interested in that school do check them out another school is Admission. Northern Arizona University and University of Alabama so you can check those schools out submit your application and I will continue to share so ensure that you subscribe and keep coming back for more that's why you need to turn on your notifications so that whenever a new video drops you'll be able to get it and you don't miss out the information because all of this information are actually timely like when applications for scholarship are open they are for a specific period of time and once the timeline elapses you know it's until probably the next application cycle so you don't want to miss out on any of this so i believe that you have gotten value from today's video from all that i have said if there's any question or area that you need clarification please leave them in the comments comment section below i read all comments and i'm ensure to reply to you all right guys so until i come your way again next time do take care and keep on winning cheers to you and success to you in all your application i wish you the very best bye